Most of the personal bests were set, uh, followed by a period where I would consume uh, zero alcohol. And that is getting interesting. All right, so I've been away from the trainer for a while and uh, whilst the main focus was, uh, as always, running, the cycling uh, has been uh, a cross-training tool with an average of around uh, three hours over the last three months. And so I uh, had a long flight over the last uh, couple of days and uh, a little slip. And so uh, my idea is that uh, you lose significantly less if you sleep less rather than you sleep well and consume some amount of alcohol even if it's very modest even if it's only a pint of beer every second evening then this may affect your performance and recovery significantly worse than if you don't get a decent sleep and so i will be releasing a video and uh, i'll stick it somewhere in there as a link the findings, uh, differences, what is better and what is worse. Either you drink, but a little, or you at times do don't get enough sleep. Even two, three hours of sleep a night at times uh, turns out to be significantly more beneficial for the uh, average performance gains as opposed to if you drink even a little and so the conditions today are not ideal it is hot in uh, my garage there is no ac as you can see temperature is 27 degrees with the 51 percent of humidity and uh, we'll see how it affects the performance my last FTP test was uh, 263 watts and uh, it turned out to be 265 based on the 20 minutes effort in the races and uh, I was away uh, from the races over the last three months. We'll see where I'm at. We'll develop some kind of plan for, uh, for the future training. So ideally I would want to see a similar figure, say 263, 265 in hot conditions, would be a decent number, so I'd be happy with that. With that. And uh, although uh, there is a slight hope that uh, I'll get a slightly higher number just purely because I I was not drinking alcohol at all, completely zero over the last three months, and so this will be another two cents towards uh, my idea that uh, you better don't sleep well rather than you sleep well and drink, even a little. And so we'll find out soon. So I, I hope that this time the heart rate climbs happily as uh, usually this is a good sign although I think this time around the heat will help me to heat up the heart rate so that it climbs happily and uh, regardless of the reasons uh, it's good to see a higher heart rate if you are up to the high intensity effort and so uh, I was noticing my middle distance uh, performance was always better when it's hot. I noticed that the results when I was uh, giving all out efforts for 3000 meters had uh, historically been better when it was uh, say 26 to 30 degrees Celsius as opposed to 20 degrees Celsius. 
and so uh, the ramp test is a short effort short but intense and uh, in a way it's very similar to middle distance running and so we see how it goes it will be interesting to see how how significantly i can uh, ramp up the temperature in the in the garage is already 27.2 uh, so we'll see so that's 220 somewhere in the middle of zone 2 and closer to zone 3 I think probably getting close to LT1 or not yet heart rate is still uh, still pleasantly low so so we'll see so 240 uh, is even less than I was climbing out the Zwift on the average so should still feel very easy although the sweating rate increases so the temperature is 27.3 okay 260 so should be very close to my threshold maximum heart rate I ever seen in cycling was 172 so we see if I can push higher but this time thanks to heat or maybe not okay 300 so it's getting more serious interesting to, to see that the cadence increases to so 
too tired. No. I am too tired. You can obviously allow yourself not to sleep for a couple of nights, but then you have to recover to give it a good try. After it was way below what I can usually see during maximum effort, so I think 260 is not legit. We'll have to do it again in a few days. All right, so let's get straight to the point. Uh, I was uh, chasing the peak performance. Uh, my main sport is running and uh, I thought that I was hitting a wall and plateaued over the last two years as uh, I very seldom uh, saw the uh, performance improvements. And uh, those uh, improvements were just uh, tiny margins. Uh, at times I would improve uh, almost on every running distance from 5k to the full marathon but uh, I wasn't really happy with uh, how it progressed and so I tried different uh, training approaches I tried different variation of the intensities periodization uh, recoveries and uh, all sorts of things and then the improvements were not uh, so obvious or noticeable at some point I even introduced uh, cycling as a cross training tool and uh, I reduced the running volume from uh, 70 80 kilometers a week on the average down to 50 and the rest I, I substituted with the cycling and of course I did also the strength training the uh, jumps and uh, all sorts of uh, the auxiliary exercises which would uh, help to enhance the uh, strength and uh, I did not uh, see this was helping me either and so then I started to dig a bit deeper and uh, I noticed uh, uh, one peculiar thing and that thing was that uh, uh, say there were two different uh, periods uh, in my life over the last two years and these periods were uh, from two to three months in length and during one period I had completely zero of alcohol consumption so I was drinking uh, zero totally zero and the other two three months uh, in length was that uh, I could consume say one pint of beer every second night and although that does not seem a lot uh, but it uh, had a great impact on my recovery at times you can be skeptical at how Garmin interprets your recovery and uh, you may not believe in those reduced HRV numbers and uh, increased uh, resting heart rate but uh, that uh, seemed to uh, impact uh, my recovery and uh, performance improvements uh, significantly. Most of the personal bests were set uh, followed by a period where I would consume uh, zero alcohol and that is getting interesting. And so over the last three months I uh, consumed uh, zero alcohol and uh, although this ramp test is not very indicative of the uh, performance gains as it was set uh, followed by uh, two nights where I uh, had almost uh, zero sleep and uh, I was not recovered enough. And so I will give it a try again in a few days and uh, I will definitely see uh, a higher FTP number. And also my next uh, A target for the running is a full marathon at the end of September. And so uh, I believe that uh, the previous three months uh, of uh, zero alcohol had uh, helped me to build uh, a good base, a solid base. And with the introduction of some uh, targeted uh, specific marathon training, I can get to the new personal best.